Cherry, the car company, they're based in China. They plan on selling their EVs, not just in China, but elsewhere, including Australia, including a lot of places in Europe, by the way, in case you're interested in actually buying this product, which I would be if I were you, because I already am actually. Yeah, that didn't make any sense, but hey, I like this EV and for one key reason. Now, when I first saw this, I didn't think much of it. I thought just another EV. It looks all right, not bad. I like the fact that it's boxy shaped. Boxy shaped vehicles are more practical. But when I found out this new feature, well, things changed. I don't know why, but I just love this idea. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back everyone else. This is the Cherry iCar 03. I'm not a fan of the name, to tell you the truth. Bit of a mouthful, but anyhow, this is a 4.4 meter long electric car, boxy shaped. It looks a little bit like a Land Rover Defender, like a small version of a Defender. Land Rover Defender, I personally quite like it. There's not an EV version. I think the the normal car looks pretty good. There's one actually a couple of streets down from me here. Someone owns one. I asked them, how much should you pay for it? $120,000. That's Australian dollars, by the way, around about 85,000 US dollars. Not worth that. Now, if it was electric, well, I would be thinking differently. I'd be going, hmm, very cool, but it's not. And as a result, Land Rover and Jaguar, they're dying quickly. Their sales are, well, a pretty minuscule percentage of the global car market and nothing's happening with them. If anything, they're actually just dying a slow death. Cherry, on the other hand, different story. Why? They have a whole bunch of EVs coming and their sales as a result are going up, 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 up. And this, my friends, is one of the reasons. New innovations. If you can make an EV, that's great. That's great. They're putting a CATL lithium ion phosphate battery pack in it. It'll be the new version from CATL, which will have cold charging. It can charge the battery in 10 minutes. I mean, talking, I'm talking, you know, 20 to 80% in 10 minutes, which is amazing, but it can work really, really well in cold weather. CATL's new LFP battery technology is a massive improvement, especially in cold areas. So big difference over the previous iterations of LFP technology, which Elon Musk has revealed. Yes, they do have issues when it's cold. Those issues are gone. These new LFP batteries also charge at 4C charging rate, probably around 200 to 250 kilowatt charging speeds. Very impressive range for this car is said to be approximately 500 kilometers, but that's not really, that all that stuff's nice, but it's not really what caught my eye. What caught my eye is this wacky, wacky style, this chromey thing they've got going on, this interior old school leather look. It's so weird, but I don't know why it really appeals to me, but that's not the reason I want it. The reason I want it is because the production version has been revealed with a solar roof. So I live in a pretty hot area now. I'm now here up in Newcastle in Australia. And it's basically, we've just gone through winter here. There wasn't a single day where I couldn't wear a t-shirt. There was sun every freaking day. It's unbelievable. I've, you know, I've never lived here before. Um, it's where my, my wife was from. It's where her family are. And of course she has cancer now, stage four cancer. So we moved here for her to be with her family. And I've got to say, you know what? Winter here has just been amazing. Sun, 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 sun. I had my EV parked out the front, which my car is just parked out on the street um, because there's nowhere else for me to park it. Then I would have I would have just gotten so much free energy for nothing. Now, sure, it might only give you 40 kilometers of range a day, but so freaking what? I don't even drive 40 kilometers a day. That would mean I can drive for free every day of the year. Now, sure, there's going to be days where I can't drive for free. I don't have to pay for that energy. But what about if I just plug my EV into my house or plugged it into some stuff, my fridge or a few things like that? I could get you know some free energy from that and then make up the difference on those days where I drive more than 40 kilometers or not. Either way, I could get free energy for my car. What, 97% of the year? Insane. I love that idea. And the reason I love that idea is because the naysayers said this couldn't be done. They said, oh, solar panels don't work on an EV. They're too heavy. They're too this. They're too that. There's this reason they won't work. They won't work because of this. You know what? That's what the pessimist says, right? The pessimist comes along and he says, I've got five reasons why it won't work. And I say to him, my friend, you don't need five. All you need is one. And the reality is here, my friends, some people look through a window and there's a beautiful sunset. And they don't see it. All they see is the spots on the window. 
and they think, how dirty is this window? Those are the people saying solar won't work. They said it years ago on houses. Guess what? Today, many, many people are saving enormous sums of money. I mean, they're using the sun to power everything they do, including driving, including running their fridges, including running their computers and their laptops. Why not implement this with cars? Now we have solar PV, which is incredibly light and flexible. Why not do it? I think it works and so does Cherry. Now, aside from that, this vehicle has a kind of a nice old school look to it. Like I said, it's like a small version of a Land Rover Defender. And that means specifically the size is this, 4,406 millimeters, 173.5 inches in length, 1,910 millimeters or 75.2 inches in width, 1,715 millimeters or 67.5 inches in height and a wheelbase of 2,715 millimeters or 106.9 inches. In comparison, it's a similar sort of size to a Nissan Qashqai or a BYD Addo 3, but obviously it's very different to those cars because it's much higher and boxier. So the interior space would be significantly larger. Plus it will have this new battery technology and a solar option for the roof. So what's the price? Here's the kicker. Here's the, here's the other reason I've gone, give me one of these damn things, Cherry. Well, seriously, it's 20,000 US dollars. That's the price it starts at. Now, of course, I'm gonna guess the version with the solar panel on the roof and the bigger battery pack, which is what I would want, might cost a bit more than that. Might cost $30,000. I still think that's a really good deal. A very interesting and possibly technologically advanced car that doesn't look like it doesn't look like a jerk off car. I mean, it, it just looks, it looks kind of simple, fairly stylish, and it doesn't look like I need to drive around in the Land Rover Defender, which is, it is a bit of a Toffs car, isn't it? It's a bit of a car that says, look at me, you know, I'm the cool guy, I'm being different, I'm unique. I think this car here, it doesn't really say those things, but it does give you that differentiation in terms of having a vehicle that's electric, it's practical, and that can run itself from the sun. All of that appeals to me. What do you think? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.